راميخت ناشونت لارتي اي شاختن لیگر مهسا اگس ور گیت بال تو گدین اگران فشیل فسادن گلور شاختن چانهون تامی دو تفت خوز او والا او هلوین where for the past nine days the RTE All Ireland Drama Festival 2005 has been taking place. The highlight of the year in amateur drama. Later on, Sheila Shogi will have all the results of the competition for us. But first, let's find out what's coming up in this special programme. We go behind the scenes with all the nine finalists from around the country and get a flavour of the preparations for the big competition. From rigging the lights to dressing the actors and applying the grease paint, what brings the show together? And from Beckett's Godot to Hugh Leonard's Da, we get a taste of the drama as the actors take to the boards. The RTE All-Ireland Drama Festival is the culmination of months of hard work and dedication. Tosnin and Clachta das na dromi chofa de shirle ni na sauna, agus glaca na grupi port na she ele is chucha a hosnin a ni saura. Marion Malone now takes a look at the preparations of three of the nine finalists, the Kilmeen group from Cork, the Silicon Thomas players from County Kildare, but she starts a report this evening in County Cork with a visit to the Palace players in the village of Kilworth. Originally based in Fermoy, the Palace players draw members from a wide hinterland to their home in the village of Kilworth between Mitchellstown and Fermoy. They have four wins from the six festivals they entered en route to the All-Ireland Final. Faye is uh, the week, um, central character is Vera. She's uh, living as a call girl in New York. She returned home to reconcile with her family, but they don't want to know her, and her dream of reconciling turns into a nightmare. It is New York you're in now, Yes. Huh? Uh, mainly. And you're doing well? Yeah, quite well. Hmm. The lighting for this play is very important. The, there is dawn, dusk, uh, indoor, outdoor. It has to be very subtle. Uh, to create the scene, to, to lift the characters out of the set, to light the costumes, too much lighting, and it would just kill it. Too little lighting, you won't see the faces. Sean, when he tumbles the sheep, she will get the hind part. I've had occasions whereby at half a seven, quarter to eight, and producer shouting there, we're ready, Tom. I've been up the ladder walking on stage, but uh, it's all right on the night. It happens, it works, and sometimes we win, sometimes we lose, but more often than not, we try and win. Okay, just when you're in there, I was in the back bar there one time, coming right to the front of the stage, Sean, on that. The reason why I stay, stay involved with the Palace players mm -hmm. is there's great camaraderie with them. Uh, good. We have good fun on, on stage, off stage, and that's why I keep coming back year after year. Should you must be 34? The last time I saw 34, Mrs. Keneally, was on the top of a bus. <laughs> The Kildare town-based Silken Thomas players take their name from the famous Earl of Kildare who was beheaded in the 16th century. And when we caught up with them in rehearsal at the nearby village of Rathangan, it was certainly not for the faint-hearted. Won't your man be upset? Your sister dying in the paramilitary stable. Ah. Do you know it was becoming Sunday? Um, the Lieutenant Finishmore is about um, an officer in the INLA called Mad Podrick. And uh, Mad Podrick is very passionate about his cat. And uh, his cat gets killed and he comes back for revenge. What I want you to remember, as the bullets come out through your bags, is that this is all a fella can be expected. Or being so bad to an innocent Irish cat. Goodbye to you now. Goodbye. Goodbye, Patrick. It's actually a case of mistaken identity because um, the cat actually doesn't get killed at all. But in the meantime, there's a lot of um, dead bodies, blood, guts, the whole lot. Uh, before the play starts every night, Val's job is to put plenty of blood on all these bodies. Note, it's not real blood. 
then when he has the blood and all on before the scene starts, he has to paint more blood along all the, the arms and on the fingertips. The arms hang up on a dresser, so we have to make sure there's plenty of blood that drips down, that makes it really effective. Uh, we also have syringes here that we fill with blood so as we can, when the lads get shot with the guns, that there's a real effect of blood after coming from their heads. What's all this about now? Does the word splinter group mean anything to you? One of the longest established groups in the festival, the Kilmeen Drama Group, come from the village of Rossmore near Clonakilty in the heart of West Cork. It's their 13th All-Ireland final, but although they've come second on two occasions, the overall prize has so far eluded them. And where were you till this hour? Candles and the wine. Hey, cook dinner and I'll see you. Sprites now. Scale Fuin Fen Porsche Cockler at Ta a Green Saw. Ta she truck a blind dish, Ta she posta, or Ta Tour a Clina a Ke. I don't make out to understand the breadth and depth of you and Gabriel. I've heard the bond between twins be ever strange and inexplicable. Cui Blina Dig, Rivshaw, the Bog, Edra Hor, La Couple, Doravenum Gabriel. How dare you mention his name? The problem's not Gabriel. I'm over him this year. Problem's you. Oh, hilly le, ni feda le de lol lechon sail in air cock. You sit down, Rachel, and make your husband. Stay somewhere there now. There's drinks and food and all that stuff in the kitchen. Good night. Okay, Mary. Good girl. Toshi and a custasuk show a cor eron mohor. Ock, le drama. Mar Porsche Cocklin, Tashi and Irish, a the cor os cor on Fobel. Ta look Lenuna, any Yelish a green, August been being tea a green gocky here. There to go be Rossmore on Priv Freud, Valo Cultura Sitir, no better than your fame. You think I don't? Then hear this, and it's be free of all illusions forevermore. Now leave me be. And light no more candles for me for fear I blind you with them. And so, my little and the ear and starch again, no group is a crave, solid dug on the raid. The dine hain, a goose on Homortish Oscar Tisha, ton a group eagle late trish, third fan or don, kits a shafska with her fad. Here, Mihal O'Donnell, a chief group on your wish curtainish, the Cornhill Theatre Group as Leitrim, the Lifford Players as in Malishin. Ach tas nicha wedish genocht i gunte klegig. You support the Germans, do you? Shut up. Don't go red. Smile. <laughs> Is something amusing you? No. Is sorts dear bahash nashe on drama shala Hugh Leonard, and tholon grants of drama ach imahoram on priv mahukon no brown. Tashi bonahe er gwele jor an taharag sa wak. Aha, Hitler's the man that we went in with him. He gives them lacquery, the same as we do. She was the fairest man on the southern side, and the right? Oh, no, that will do. What the hell do the English have anyway? Didn't they come into town here and shoot decent people in their beds? Coin buzz more in your beam, Aaron Stotcher. Got on, August. Well, in her fa or in Fig got here, it's been an LMA, so Shinra Dutch, August. Tosh Kohimak. It's fan of Gima character, Mary Tate. It's the character through a veil of key, August. Um, Titch and Sheen, Rawlish and Boohalock. <laughs> it doesn't screw off. What? Me leg. I think you're getting our money excitement. You needn't think there's nothing doing for you here. Uh, I don't. To know what you take me for. Sort of person who'd sit here and be felt with people passing. Ton Grodham no shunta boche, three hora e common dramiachta huliara hana. August ton darahot bunche mach fehoaka freshen. Darlo Hain is she drummy ahanta er no sin shine is mu a haringian or than fobular her. Put them well back to two buds from the bottom and the flurry bundles to five buds. The flurry bundle to five buds. The harder you cut, the better the bloom. Only don't cut into a stem that's more than a year old. I'll remember. I'll make a rose go out yet, so I will. 
Dohin Arkin and Green on a litter cannon, Ton and Lifford players a cursor over the Hood Samuel Beckett O's Coran Fubbin. Rayti and Dromi off a shot then torch a low. Todd Dulan took a cut of pain, La Hubber Hasta then Ginalsha. It's my home, I actually jack her there, Hishton. Beam and Nervisha, Riv and Dramiat, Akner Hoshni and Shay, Beam my carcular. Does he give you enough to eat? Does he feed you well? Fairly well, sir. You're not unhappy. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Well? I don't know, sir. You don't know if you're unhappy or not? No, sir. You're as bad as myself. Sean Hedor will out when to Machig Lifford players a multi canish na heron, lesh and draw me shot. Bonnie can come and draw me at the three blian is Craiga Ohin, and Vlian Hena er Hosnig on Comortis na shun to Hain. Is group of eight at Ogown er Ach when he August er Oshina, August Brahanshid, Casuela Galore group Yella, er Robert Yonach, and Kamad Satul. What exactly did we ask him for? Were you not there? I can't have been listening. No, nothing very definite. A kind of prayer. Precisely. A vague supplication. Exactly. And what did he reply? That he'd see. That he couldn't promise anything. That he'd have to think it over. In the quiet of his home. Consult his family. His friends. His agents. His correspondence. His books. His bag of Before coins. taking a decision. That's the normal thing. Is it not? I think it is. I think so too. Sulla took and she diger and stoicha, Olivian she did hain, er valach, nachre tofle becket hain bather, ach shin candus no ruddy, a bun and leshna lifford players. Ton hoiler and rufisha, good den she'd sit tance, August go will she'd sauce the brew a horror a hain, le bally nua a oil, hun scalt and a nuder a ancient. Behind this veil of gentleness and peace, night is charging and will burst upon us. Like that, just when we least expect it. That's how it is on this bitch of an earth. Once upon a time, there was a girl from Donegal, and her name was Rosie Doherty. Well, the play was uh, is about an actual event that happened in 1942 in, in Cavan Town. Uh, there was a fire there, and 35 children were born to them. The play, The Stolen Child, is narrated by Peggy, a survivor of the Cavan Orphanage fire, who struggles to come to terms both with her past and with her relationship with her own daughter. Catherine Chambers, nine. And her sister Margaret, seven. Mary Carroll, 12. And her sister Josephine, 10. Mary McKiernan, 16. And her sister Susan, 14. Josephine Cassidy, 15. It's a little bit different to most plays that we've done because it's, uh, there's a factual element to it and there's quite a lot of the plays dealing with facts and figures and dates and times and I thought it would be a problem to get over uh, trying to keep people uh, in their seats while this was going on but it's actually proven to be very popular. The Cornmill Theatre Group has played to packed houses for weeks as they strive to both ensure that the theatre company stays solvent as well as fine-tuning their play for the trip That's to Athlone, where they hope to secure a second national title. I am involved. You can walk away from the whole thing. I could never walk away from a child. Lots of men do. That doesn't mean that they want to or that is right. And what about the child? What are you going to say when it asks who his father is? I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. The response from the wider community to theatre in Carrigallen has been overwhelmingly positive. Despite its many achievements and high hopes for Athlone, the theatre group served its own public first and foremost, and that is central to its existence. Before we look at the remaining three groups in the RTE All-Ireland Drama Festival 2005, is fewer or Okodesha has had in Vogue and Sahan Alloin, Le Bresh Agaslachia the Blenanuak. Only the foot and mouth outbreak in 2001 caused it to be cancelled. Our final report tonight on the preparations takes us to Castle Blaney in County Monaghan, Dundalk in County Louth, Achkurin Dummake Tuslin and Huirishk, Sakhulog, a Gahad Vlotia. Dublin-based estuary players have reached the final of this year's All-Ireland Drama Festival with their adaptation of Broadway hit, Proof. This has nothing to do with you. I know her. She's tougher than you think, Claire. What? She can handle herself. She can handle talking to me. Are you out of your mind? We're a very closely bonded group. 
a large number of us in the group, but there are only four of us on stage, but lots of other people working in the background with us. This is for the cold scene, and it's when really everything has gone down here for you, Kathy. I'm a costume designer by trade, so therefore anything I can bring to Estuary players in the line of costume advice, I do. So that's really my role in the group. You won't be wearing a t-shirt underneath it, no, will you? No, no, and I roll the sleeves up. Yeah. Well, this production, it's a contemporary play, so therefore the costumes will be very ordinary, will appear very ordinary, but in that situation, you can get them very wrong. So we need to make sure that as each person is dressed according to their age, that they're dressed correctly, and as the play goes back and forward in time, that there are changes to the costume. There's not always a possibility to make a complete change because of time restraints, but in most cases, cases we will change it sig significantly, so you'll know they're either younger here, or they're older, or they deteriorated slightly health-wise. Costumes are very ordinary, really, but we, we have put a lot of work into them. Full time. I won't. I can always take a semester oh, geez, off. Jesus, Catherine, it's the end of the month. Why didn't you say something before? Come on, Dad. It took a while to set this up. The play is um, about relationships, really, and mainly about the relationship between a father and daughter. Father is a mathematician, um, genius, bordering on insanity. And through the play, you wonder if his daughter has not only inherited his genius, but also some of his insanity. Consistently okay. I have to take this conversation as a vote of confidence. I'm on it. Oh, take it whatever way you want. This is Castle Blaney Player's fourth appearance at the finals since 1997. This year, they have chosen to perform the controversial and challenging work In a World of Our Own, written by Belfast playwright Gary Mitchell. So they're, they're building up the pressure on you here, all right? But so my role is the director of the play. Um, I just like this particular play. It's such a, a strong and powerful piece of theatre, uh, a wonderful piece of writing. And it's a small cast, and they, they work so well together. And that's just, it's just enjoyable working with five other people that are really into what, what this play is about. So we play the, the rest of it then in the front. This play is written by Gary Mitchell, who is a be young Belfast playwright, and it's set very much in the area that he grew up in himself, which is Rathcool, which is a very much a, a loyalist Protestant area of North Belfast. Um, and it's around that particular community. Uh, the title of the play is A Little World of Our Own. So it's about their little world and what impacts on their li livelihood. What are you going to do? Forget about that. Think about this. You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about that wee girl. You just know nothing. Now tell me what you know. There's a new theatre just been built in the town, an art centre, and hopefully we, that'll give us the opportunity to go on and do more uh, interesting theatre that we'll be able to put on for local audiences here and bring audiences back into the theatre and sort of show what Castle Blaney players can do. I don't know nothing. Well done. Dundalk's Theatre Workshop has performed in Ireland and abroad since it was founded in 1978. The company is hoping for success at the drama finals with its production, I'm Not Rappaport. The play is a comic entertainment uh, with vaudeville elements. It's set in Central Park, New York, uh, on a park bench, or revolving around a park bench. Uh, there are two characters, two main characters in the play, two octogenarians, Nat and Midge, one black, one white. And the play really is about how they manage uh, aging and the strategies they use to, to deal with aging. I, I play the part of Midge, who is black. Uh, I'm a very timid, shy character. I was an ex-boxer, but uh, I failed at boxing, and I am now the night porter in an apartment block in Central Park, even at the age of 81. And uh, the way I deal with uh, aging is that I I'm as anonymous as possible. What time is it? 
I don't think in terms of playing a black role. I think in terms of playing a character who just happens to be black. I don't consciously on stage think of myself as a black character, as a black person. I, I use the lines, I use the rhythms of speech that uh, the author has, has written and uh, I uh, play the character. And so, so being black doesn't actually come into it, in fact. Details, details, details is the name of the game. Details is the whole thing. Missouri Jack is better than Kansas City Jack. Has a sound to it, music. I know these things. Well, now that we've got a taste of all nine acts in the RT All-Ireland Drama Festival 2005 here in Athlone, it's time to find out who will be this year's winner. All nine groups are waiting anxiously for the announcement here in the Radisson Hotel. The nominations for the best performance by an actress in a leading role are... The festival is the culmination of six months' work by each of the finalists, from first rehearsals to last performance. This is their night to enjoy and to hope that they will walk away with an award in at least one of the categories. And the winner is Catherine in Proof. Best actor in the best role. This award will be presented also by Mr. Carl Gold. And the winner is Midge in I'm Not Rappaport. But the final award, that for the best overall group, is the most coveted. The winner of the 2005 RTE All-Ireland Final is Stolen Child. A moment of sheer delight for the Corn Mill Theatre Company of Carrig Allen in County Leitrim as they score the top marks in this year's festival. Stolen Child has just won the competition as the best play. Seamus, as director, how do you feel? Well, usually in these circumstances, people say that it hasn't sank in yet. Well, it has sank in, and I'll be able to tell you that it feels a damn sight better than the years we didn't win. So, uh, I mean, we're just delighted, and we're a small community. We've won it, and, um, of course, everything in a small community is like winning the, uh, winning the championship in the football, you know? How important is community at an event like this? Well, I'm not sure about all the other groups, but in our group, uh, it's very important. And, and um, I mean, we've been running this play. We've done 17 packed houses at home in our own theatre, in the Cornwall Theatre in Carrigallan. And, and all, everybody from the tea ladies to the guys who collect the tickets on the door, and everybody is here tonight, and they all share in it, and they're all part of it. And there's only four actors, and there's some backstage, but, but there's hundreds of people involved and I mean I always dedicate this night to people like that and the people who work hard over the years. Billy talk to me about the standards of the competition. You have to think of where these companies came from what they fought to get out to this point so we are seeing the cream of Irish amateur theatre people who are dedicated to their craft who bring that magic to the theatre and of course, that's what I'm looking for when I make my final decision. And the play that won tonight was the one which had everything going for it in all departments, plus that special magic. For 54 years, Athlone has hosted the All-Ireland Drama Festival, and a dynamic local committee has seen the event grow from year to year. This is RTE's second year as a sponsor. Well, Sean Darablin, as he called doing in RTE by January after the Nella Elevenarsha. I guess my reckon you've been to Marbellier and Dahl, the atmosphere that you've been to in the country. When you've been to the country, you've been to the country, and 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 you've been to the country. As the cast and crew are joined by friends and relations from Leitrim, it's clear that the celebrations here are only beginning. But let's take a final look at scenes from the winning play, Stolen Child, by Barbara Nichive and Yvonne Quinn. Once upon a time, there was a girl from Donegal, and her name was Rosie Doherty. Her skin was as soft and white as flower, and her hair was as black as a raven's wing. 
She married a wild man from the border with rough brown skin and a hard mouth. But she loved his wild laughter and his eyes that were the colour of the sea. Well, congratulations to all those who took part in the RTE All-Ireland Drama Festival 2005. To the winners, of course, and to the organisers. Agus, Sine Will, O Allu and Son Hona. Next Sunday, Shachtan will be at the earlier time of a quarter past one. Like nationwide at an air, it is Shachta Chlog, Son Hona de Luente Maris Canal. And I'll be here with the day's top stories at quarter past five on RTU One every day, Ernuacht and Leib. Tasulagum Gemeshiv Shemacholudu Marshin, Edith and Dawalin, Slonga